Today we need to get into people saying that Song Dae-yoon was seen at Jimin's apartment and what was going on with that. We also have a Jimin dancer that had posted something about Jimin that was really cute. And then we have the label suing and taking legal action and what's going on with that. So you don't mean to save this I hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon with some free content on Saturdays now and let's go. The label taking legal action is not something that hasn't been done before, but it's definitely interesting to kind of hear what they're taking legal action on and what's going on recently. If you're unaware of what I am talking about, let's get into it. So of course, we all know that the label takes legal action on people who participate in defamatory comments about their artists. This is of course very necessary within K-pop because it's not just defamatory comments, but these comments are clearly coming from people who need to be locked up in jail or need to have psychiatric evaluation. And of course, these things in K-pop, they tend to lead to death threats and those sorts of horrific things. So I'm actually really glad that the label does that. But recently it's been alleged and reported on news sites that the label is taking legal action on BTS's former university that they went to. Now this is alleged, so don't go attacking the university and don't go do any of that sort of stuff because I don't know how much of that has actually been public. Personally, I couldn't find any legal documents in this case. And since it's not exactly happening yet and it's not finished yet, those documents won't be out yet. And even if the label is coming out and saying that they will take legal action, there's always this opportunity for the school or the university to settle and it never actually goes to court. And so right now we don't actually have any information on what's going on and what's actually happening. So the legal action or the suing that's being taken place hasn't exactly happened yet, I don't believe. But it's been alleged that the university has been using BTS's name and maybe even some of BTS's intellectual property to promote their university. And I guess they say that their university has raised the boys and all that sort of stuff. Of course, if this is true, this is something that irks me a lot because I have been someone that has come from a university University that I felt very neglected by. Every time I had complaints, people wouldn't listen, and I don't feel like I was ever treated properly at the university I went to. So if I was in BTS's position and then I saw that said university that I went to is now using my name and face and all that stuff to say that I was a part of the university, I would then be very angry because I'd be like, you didn't even know who I was when I was there. And quite frankly, if I was ever that successful, I highly doubt the university would come out and say that I was part of their university because I don't think they would even know that I was a part of their university. So I see why the label is taking action because it's different if the boys wanted to endorse the university themselves or wanted to be a part of that type of promotion, but if they're not doing that and then for the university to kind of do that is messed up. And of course, I can see why the label would be upset about that. Of course, this is a piece of news that maybe isn't very exciting, but we did have something that was a little bit more exciting. Now for his latest song, the Smirado Garden marching band song, he had a lot of promotion for it and some of that is starting to come out. Of course, he ended up working with some um, children he ended up posting a photo that showed him with the children and the dancers actually posted a photo of Jimin's autograph. What's kind of crazy to me is that the child or whoever was responsible for this child's social media account had to hold on to this autograph picture for months just before they could even post it. Now Jimin loves children. If you don't remember there was a little while ago where Jimin and the rest of BTS went to a school and they got really close with everyone and everyone was asking all of them to come back one day and they all replied and that they would come back one day and so everyone else was busy and I think a few of them definitely went back and got to talk to all the kids and really kept their promise. And Jimin actually really got to keep his promise and talk to the kids and he actually came back. Now fast forward Jimin having kid dancers, the kid had nothing but positive things to say about their experience dancing for Jimin and his song. It was even cuter when in the caption the kid called Jimin Uncle Jimin. So Uncle Jimin ended up trending on Twitter and people were very much dying over this. Obviously this is very cute and it's very cute to see a kid show such love and have such good things to say about Jimin because kids are really the first people to see if someone is a bad person. A kid really doesn't have any incentive to not see if a person is good. So for example, a kid isn't necessarily going to be impressed by things like money or whatever, especially if they're very young, or they might not even fully understand the concept of what money actually gets people. So that's not something that they'll be super impressed by. Same thing with fame and that sort of stuff. And then a kid doesn't really sexualize a person. So they're not going to look at someone and say, well, that person is really beautiful. I'm going to want to sleep with them. So I'm going to ignore all the red flags. So when a kid actually feels like someone is a good person and likes being around them, it's because they are genuinely a good person and they are good to be around. So this is yet another piece of evidence that we get to see that he is a really good person and that he deserves all the love and all the success that he has. I think it's really hard nowadays to find genuinely really bad celebrities. I know there are always trending. I know they're always trending online and people always like to say that this person is so bad, but it's nothing compared to what celebrities used to be. Celebrities at one point were seen as literal gods and that they could 
could literally do anything. They could slap their assistant and no one would really say anything. Whereas nowadays that could probably end their career or erupt into a big scandal and everyone hate them. It was different because back then it was almost acceptable for someone in power, for someone who had a lot of money and fame to be this horrific person. Whereas nowadays it's just something that's not tolerated. And I'm so glad that BTS members are good people. I also think that they should be good people because that's how they were raised and they know that that's what they need to be. Of course, as we're talking about this, it's quite obvious that Jimin has had his comeback and he's doing it without actually ever being active and he is still serving in the military. But people were definitely wondering what is the reaction or the general reaction of his music coming out. Specifically, people were thinking about Song Dae-un and what she might have thought about the music. If you're not aware of what this person has to even do with Jimin, there has been this rumor that the two had been dating and a lot of that rumor has revolved around just her posting stuff with Jimin. So posting his name on headphones or just having similar furniture as he has. Assuming that since the furniture looks similar that she must be in his apartment. Now something that I didn't even think about that someone brought up recently online, which I do think is very interesting, was that she herself never confirmed dating. People assumed that and then from the assumption she had then gotten death threats saying that she should stop exposing her relationship. When in reality if she is posting things with Jimin in it or with any other BTS member in it is because she probably is a fan of them. Like how most of us post things about the BTS members. But because she's famous, she must be dating him. Now apparently there has been this rumor to say that she must have appeared at the apartment to congratulate Jimin on his new release and his new music. And a lot of people are saying that she must feel excited for him and thus maybe it's kind of helping him promote it. I don't know, some people are saying that you might see her around his apartment or whatever it is. Now she actually answered this rumor a long time ago because I think the rumor had surfaced a long time ago and then resurfaced again. So there were accusations of her a little while ago and then she actually answered this to say that she doesn't even know Jimin and she isn't dating anyone right now and she doesn't have a boyfriend. Now of course a lot of these posts are not super recent but the fact of the matter is if things were to change I'm sure she would definitely let us all know and I don't know if she has gone live recently but I would imagine that she would be really scared to go live recently because I'm sure all of the comments would be surrounding this dating rumor. I hope one day we do see women going outside to the members apartments and I hope one day we do not see people get upset about something like that because even if the women are just at his place having a party to celebrate it would definitely be a big issue and people would be really upset when in reality people have friends people have guy friends people have girlfriends doesn't mean that they're in a relationship with these people and it's healthy to have friends with people from both genders also like what might work for women when they promote music and what their techniques are might be something that would be interesting for another guy to hear plus you know some of the bts members like jim and v like to take inspiration from women for their photo shoots and their promotions let me know what you think make sure to check out patreon for more videos link down below thanks for this lovely comment right here Love you, bye.